I've already touched on asexuality, and that's great. However, there is an ace spectrum for a reason. Not every person is completely unable to feel sexual attraction towards others. This is where gray aces come in. Gray aces fall under what is called the asexual umbrella, or the ace spectrum. While they are asexual, they do experience limited sexual attraction. They may not experience it as much as non-asexual people, also known as allosexual people, but what they do experience, however seldom, is significant enough to claim the gray label. They don't fall on the black or white options of a or allosexuality. This is why asexuality is seen as a spectrum. Gray aces, as they are called, may still desire a sexual relationship, but infrequently, weakly, or it may even feel ambiguous compared to others' descriptions. Compared to any other asexuals, gray aces may also identify with other parts of the LGBTQIA+. For example, someone may identify as a gray ace lesbian or gray pan ace. This does not discount either or any identity. If you're a gray ace, it may seem like a nebulous label to claim. Like all of the LGBTQIA+, it is your label to claim or not, and no one may take that away from you. If you have any topics you would like to see covered about OCD or other mental health discussions or other LGBTQIA plus topics, please let me know in the comments down below. As always, resources will be listed in the description. Thanks for listening to the OCD MB. Stay safe out there.